everybody, this is Julie with ReadySitStamp.com and I am going to be making a card today using the Birthday Bash Cricut cartridge. I'm cutting out things from page 61 and let's see here, I'm cutting out this little guy at 2 inches and then um, all the little layers the same way at 2 inches. This little card and tag I cut out at, let's see, I cut this out at 1.25 inches and I also cut this little flag out, two of them, at uh, one inch and then on page 40 I also cut out this little tag at two inches and I'm using the Happy Day stamp from Cards TV Stamps and you can find them at cardstvstamps.blogspot.com and I'm using the happy birthday here. This is for my nephew who's, who's turning one. And I've always wanted to do a mover and shaker card that Paper Tray Ink put out. And I'm so excited because I just got this in the mail. So what this is, you can see this little squiggly that I cut out here. I'll call it a squiggly for lack of a better word. But this is what it's going to move on when I put this on here. This is what the little thing will move in that shape. Anyway, I'm probably not explaining it well, but you'll see what I mean. And um, let's go from there. So I've used the Cuddle Bug embossing folder, and that was called Dots and Swirls. That's on the background here and did some faux stitching on it. And I've definitely put a lot of mounting foam squares on the back of it because this does need to be lifted up. So before I lift it up, let me show you this. So part of this die cutting thing, I cut double double of these out. Normally you cut two circles, um, what am I trying to say? Two of these circles and two of the smaller circles. But I actually, you can see it, I actually glued them together because um, I don't have any chipboard. And you're supposed to use chipboard. So I just thought, well, I'll just doubly cut this out. So let me show you what that die looks like so you can kind of see what I'm talking about here. This die, so you can either cut a straight line out or you can cut the squiggly one. I did the squiggly one. And this is what it will normally cut out. But I did two of these since I don't have any, um, car uh, not cardstock, but um, what am I trying to say? You know, that cardboard stuff. So uh, let's get started in assembling this together. I am going to use just some of this adhesive here, the snail adhesive. Let me make sure you guys can see this. Okay. So, and this is exactly what I've done to put these together as well, because these are two of these already together. So these are two stuck together and now I'm going to make them four stuck together by the time I put this one on here. Okay, so that's four of them now stuck together. So chipboard, that's what I was trying to say. So that's kind of gives it a nice chipboard feel to it even though I don't really have chipboard. So now I need to add glue to this side of it and now I need to add glue to this side of it. Okay. I'll put that in the center here. There we go. I'm going to add this on top of that like a sandwich. So there's that. And then you guys can see it kind of makes a little wheel. This is coming up a little bit, but that's okay because it's going to be on the inside of the card. I'll use the more finished edge on the outside of the card. So anyway, that's what it looks like. And you can see there's a hole in there. I've seen people do it also with pennies. So you're going to slide it through here. And then you're going to slide it through the other side and just keep this part in the middle of it, if that makes sense. There, see how that's able to just roll with it there? There, it'll just roll like that. So, there we go. It rolls that way. There we go. Anyway, you might have to shake a little bit, but anyway, it does roll. So there's that. Now, when I showed you guys the little thing that I told you I was going to cut out, the little package, that's the package that's going to go right here. And this is what's going to twirl around that when it does twirl. So I'm just going to add a little bit of the snail adhesive onto here and add that right there. So now this will go around. There we go. There we go. It does spin, but you kind of got to make it 
There. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there's that. So I'm going to kind of put it more a little upright for the time being because we need to finish assembling our card. So the next thing that I'm going to do is, here's my little guy that I told you that I cut out. Isn't he so cute? He looks so festive. And I added some googly eyes to him. And then I did add this little um, sparkling, um, kind of like a little rhinestone thing. Anyway, I got this at my local scrapbooking store. So I'm going to go ahead and just take off the foam adhesives on here, on the back. I can get these off here. And this is just making a regular A2 size card. So, got all these little pieces. There we go. And this one. Get this little guy off. Okay. So there's that. I'm going to add him right here. There we go. And now the next thing that I'm going to add is my little sentiment. And I did do the edges a little bit. I used the Tim... Um, let's see, Broken China from Tim Holtz, and that's what I etched it. I actually stamped the sentiment with something different, and that's from SEI Chalk Ink Blocks, and it's called Ocean Deep on this one, so that's what I stamped it with. And then just added some rhinestones onto the corners there, just to give it a little more sparkle, because I really wanted to make this first birthday card a really special card for my nephew. Okay, so let's add that right here. That's so cute. And my little flag, I don't know if you guys can see, I did add some little bows to the side of it here and just added some twine just to kind of give it a little more festive look. And the paper that I used today, I've used paper tray ink, uh, pebbles seen and noted on this, and pebbles seen and noted on, you can see his hat, and also this part here, and also the, on, um, kind of like the bow for the package here. And then um, everything else was paper tray ink or basil card stock. So last but not least, the only thing I have left is a lot of these little things and I wish I had fast forward on my video. I don't have an editing software so that's why you guys don't ever see me edit it. But you're welcome to forward this yourself and um, ignore the part that I have to take off all these tiny little things here so that you can see the really cute finished card at the end and I can show you how it's going to move and shake at the end as well. Just got a couple more here. We're about halfway there. If I had some other of the foam tape instead of these little squares it probably would be better but anyway I didn't so I'm just doing what I had. So this is what I have. Okay, everything else is done and then I'm just putting on some basic card stock, craft card stock here. That is the finished part and now you can see my little, if I get him to move, let's see, there we go. It's hard to get this thing to move but anyway, you guys get the point. It's supposed to shake it. That's why I think it's called mover and shaker because it's supposed to, there we go, kind of go through there like that. Anyway, so let me show you here because I'm probably making you dizzy showing you all that. So there's my finished card. I hope you guys enjoy it and maybe give this a try. Have a great day everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.